aesthetics uh, as a fashion designer before I got into this uh, advocacy and working with the group. And I wasn't really familiar with uh, my family, my trans family and care, or knew me before because I used to run a group at um, Metro, still do it, MCC, called Gender People Spiritual Group. They said, Moshe, you need to come. And I said, no. And I eventually showed up and I ended up getting a job hauling them hired me there. And um, so uh, thank you, Kara. <laughs> and um, as I was just, I uh, love the idea that the oneness and diversity. And you can see oneness and diversity. That's the reason why I chose at one time, I thought I was going to, because I have a Pentecostal Episcopal background. <laughs> That's an extreme, right? <laughs> and, but I was led to become an interfaith minister. That's why you see all these different, different uh, you know, religious symbols on me. Because there is something about what Charles said. When you, everyone is separated, you're separating yourself. And as one who more closer to being a mystic is to see the oneness in everyone. To see that whether, even for those ones who are non-believers, right? Those ones who consider themselves atheists, uh, we have to include them. And the only way to include them is to recognize human rights, right? When we go and protest, we don't protest just for gender or for AIDS rights, but we always put human rights above everything, and we stand there for that purpose and that purpose only, knowing that we are one, and there is no separation. And also, now I'm talking about my history, Tracy Bumpers, I used to do outreach from 12 to 4 in the morning. Tracy yeah. Bumper used to be one of my peer educators. And I was just so honored to see where she went from a peer educator up to her master's degree, you know, and working here. And that is just, it's just an overwhelming thing to see the history of the trans community moving forward. We still have a lot to go, right? Yes. And we have to lift up each other, right? And we may not always agree, but we have to keep in mind that we have a right to exist. And that's the main thing, that we have a right to exist. We, I, I um, also were a dear friend with Sybil Rivera. I want to lift up her name because she was a member of uh, Positive Health and Equal Exchange uh, Transgender Warrior. And so many different people that your name that I know, I said, oh, my age is being given. I'm trying not to talk too long. You know how ministers do. So I'm going to go as quick as possible. So what I'm going to want everyone to do, instead of us crying and moving forward, let us celebrate like Walt Whitman said. Celebrate ourselves, right? So by doing that, I want everyone to just lift their hands up and recognize the oneness of you, that even in your sickness, there is a wholeness, and that holiness is blessed and true. May the love and the glory that we send forth to everyone, may it heal you and sustain you. Know that those ones who you say have gone on it's those ones who are giving you strength, who is healing you. As you stand, they stand. We pick up the stone just a little bit, and we hand it and make the paving just a little clearer, just for the next generation. May this love, which is holy, because you are holy, bless you and sustain you in all that you believe. And so it is. Thank you.